Hello, 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 and welcome back to The Witness. This is episode 6, if I'm not wrong. And this is where we left off. Next to... Well, relatively close to the starting area. Last time we made a huge, huge amount of progress. We found a boat, activated a laser, found a recording, and that's it, I think. But well... It's it's better than you know previous episode and I think yeah this is the next area so let's see I think I know the solution let's see here uh like this and now we do the fifth one okay what huh oh shit oh that's the seventh one okay let's do this again So let's make no mistakes. Uh, this is a bit confusing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh. Okay, it's on this one. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh. Wait a second. Oh, this one is reversed, so... It's this one. I see. Wait, what? There's no fruit on this tree. How do I do this one? Is it maybe this tree instead? No. No, it's not. Okay, so let's try and one, two, three, and the broken one. One, two, three, broken one. One, two, and okay, so it's not reversed, I think. Then it, it has to be this one. Yeah, that was the odd one out. Okay, we go deeper. Where does this 
cable lead. Like back over or? Huh. Am I missing something? I don't think so. Probably. Okay, I'll just leave it be for now. Uh Anything that I'm missing? Like any secrets or hidden hidden stuff? I don't think so. Okay. Is there an exit around here? No, only drawings. Drawings of blood vessels. Huh. Okay. Uh, exit is through here. Let's go in the windmill, actually. It's turning and there's stuff oh this goes deep anything hidden no um what the hell is this enough it's like a oh that's a thing I guess what the hell is this do this okay I don't know how to do that Okay, I don't know. Hmm. 
wait, 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 wait. Like this. Right? Or no? Huh. Oh, it worked! Huh. Okay, so this is a shortcut to... Somewhere? Okay, let's go into that room first, because there was a thing that I recognized, I think. Which is this pattern. I know how to do this. I wrote it down. Okay, so let's do the one from the what's it called? The starting place first. So it's this way and this way like this like this Um. Well, that's no better a solution than any of the others, is it? So, in the end, have we learned anything from this look at why the world turned out the way it did that's of any use to us in our future? Something, I think. That the key to why things change is the key to everything. How easy is it for knowledge to spread and that in the past the people who made change happen were the people who had that knowledge whether they were craftsmen or kings today the people who make things change the people who have that knowledge are the scientists and the technologists who are the true driving force of humanity and before you say what about the Beethovens and the Michelangelos let me suggest something with which you may disagree violently. That at best, the products of human emotion, art, philosophy, politics, music, literature, are interpretations of the world that tell you more about the guy who's talking than about the world he's talking about. Second-hand views of the world made third-hand by your interpretation of them. Things like that as opposed to this. Know what it is? It's a bunch of amino acids. The stuff that goes to build up a, a worm, or a geranium, or you. This stuff's easier to take, isn't it? Understandable. Got people in it. This, scientific knowledge, is hard to take because it removes the reassuring crutches of opinion, ideology, and leaves only what is demonstrably true about the world. And the reason why so many people may be thinking about throwing away those crutches is because, thanks to science and technology, they have begun to know that they don't know so much and that if they are to have more say in what happens to their lives, more freedom to develop their abilities to the full, they have to be helped towards that knowledge that they know exists and that they don't possess. And by help towards that knowledge, I don't mean give everybody a computer and say, help yourself. Where would you even start? No, I mean trying to find ways to translate the knowledge, to teach us to ask the right questions. See, we're on the edge of a revolution in communications technology that is going to make that more possible than ever before. Or, if that's not done, to cause an explosion of knowledge that will leave those of us who don't have access to it as powerless as if we were deaf, dumb and blind. And I don't think most people want that. So what do we do about it? I don't know. But maybe a good start would be to recognize within yourself the ability to understand anything, because that ability is there as long as it's explained clearly enough. And then go and ask for explanations. And if you're thinking right now, 
what have I asked for? Ask yourself if there's anything in your life that you want changed. That's where it starts. Huh. That was interesting. Huh. This game is getting weirder and weirder as time goes on. I guess I'll input yeah, this pattern. Oh. That ability's there. That's interesting. Oh, so I can. Okay, so the pattern from the mountain. I wonder, what will that bring? Uh, like this, all the way around. And here. Yep, and that's the final one. So it's absolutely simple. What I have to say to you. It's what my teacher said to me. And I'm still uh, deeply discovering the reverberation of that. And it's simply stop looking for what you want. Not cynically stop looking for what you want. Because there's a way of stopping looking for what you want in resignation and cynicism and closing down. But innocently, openly, stop looking for what you want in this moment. Not tomorrow when you have it. But in this moment, to take one moment, whatever it is you want, however mundane or profound, and just stop looking for it. And you will find more than what you could ever want. Because more than what can be wanted is already who you are. It's too simple to be grasped. But absolutely, completely realizable. If, and it is a huge if, of course, you are willing to give up your hope that what you want will be found in the next thought, or the next activity, or the next day, or the next man, or the next woman, or the next teaching or the next experience. So that's huge. That's the challenge. And I've blessedly traveled to Australia mm -hmm. to challenge you <laughs> in that direction, that directionless direction. It's so simple that it has to be said over and over because it just slips right by the mind. And if it's said over and over and in enough ways and then not said, it can just be revealed. Not as something new, but as something absolutely fresh. Not new, but fresh. Who you are is not new, but it is always fresh. Who you think you are is old and dead. We just keep trying to think, think it a little better, squeeze some life. Is that clear? <laughs> it is? Because that's really the basis of what I have to say. It's 
not a teaching. It's not a belief system. It's not a, a way to live your life. It's not a, a should stop. It's not an if you stop, you will be rich and famous and universally loved and never have a sad moment. None of that, I promise. <laughs> but if you're willing to investigate for yourself without believing it or learning it or hoping to get something from it, just a pure investigation out of the natural curiosity of the human mind, just to investigate for yourself what is here when I stop trying to get anything? And how much of that is here? And where does that begin? And where does that end? And then the question, am I willing to trust that? And then the challenges get very big. But we'll get to that later. Hmm. Any questions about oh. what I just said? Want me to say it again? <laughs> you already are everything <clears throat> you want. Only maybe not in the way you imagine what you want. And it's that imagination itself that keeps you from discovering that you already are everything you want. So if you just take this evening as an experiment to give up any imagination, any image of what you need to be totally fulfilled, just give it up. It's just an image, just a thought. Maybe a spiritual thought, maybe a worldly thought, a relationship thought, career thought, just give it up and directly discover what's here, unthought, unimagined. How's that? Good. Good. <coughs> hmm. So, I'm seeing a general theme well, a link between these videos, which is, they're always about, well, they're both about exploration, looking for something, finding something, which is basically what we're doing in this game, which is the whole, you know, point of this. I think these videos and the ones we'll find later will link some kind of deeper meaning between the game and life, I guess? Maybe? Okay. Hmm. How do I do this? Hmm. this no because this one has to go
I don't know how to do this yet. Maybe there is another way in? No. Come on, this shouldn't be too hard. I start here. I need to separate this one from everything else. But how do I get four blocks then? That's what I want to know. Like this? And this one like so? No. That doesn't count. I think. Oh, like this. But then how do I get this one? There has to be a way, right? How do I do this? Maybe I, I just... I need to look. Concentrate, focus, and look. Hmm... How do I separate those? Hmm... I don't know how to do it without overlapping. to be away mm. come on think 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 Does this count? 
like this. Does this count? Nope, it doesn't. Uh. How the hell do I do this? How? Come on. Think, 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 think. Like this? No. If I just separate this, do they actually need to? Oh crap, like this! This should do it. And then. Oh! I did it. I did it! Now, how do I do this? Huh? How does this one work? Okay, that worked, sort of. That took way longer than expected. <laughs> um, where am I now? Oh, there's more, what? It's next to the garden thing, right? Oh no, it's a totally different area. Well, let's do this then. Oh, maybe it's a tree thing again. Can I line them up? Kind of? Or not? Or maybe it's like this? No, it's definitely a three thing. Okay. Like this. Boom. Just as we did in the other one. Then we go to this. Oh, this is a shadow one. Uh, can we get the full picture? Uh, so where does it start? Okay, it starts from like this one, goes up two to the side one. Come on, I need to be able to see the whole picture. So, up to the side one, 
down one, two to the side, or one to the side, I don't know. Down one, all the way there, up one, left, up, left, up, left, up, right, down, right, up. I should actually write that down. That might be easier. Um, let's take a new piece of paper. This is the only receipt that's still here. Okay. So it starts with up, up, right, down. Yeah, right, down, right, right, I think, up, left, up, left, up, left, left, up, right right two times or three times even right then down right up okay that's a long sequence so we go up up right down Right, down, right, right, up, left, up, left, up, left, left, up, right, 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 down, right, and up. Okay. Cable is lit. Say what now? Huh? Oh. Oh, dang it. Okay, I need to redo this one. Because that's no hassle. Uh, like this. What? Isn't it like this? Okay. So up, up, right down, right down, right, right, up, left, up, left, le wait, what? Like this. Up, up, then right, then down one. Then right one, then down one, then right, then right, then up, then left, then up, then left, then up, left, left, up, right, right, oh, like this. Now how do we do this one? Because I have never seen one like this before. Is there like a clue somewhere? Maybe? Um, on this? Is this a clue? No. Where could I find this? Kinda wanna go just like up and to the right. That's probably the wrong move. Probably. 
Maybe the stones are in some kind of pattern? No. Let's just try up and right. Nope. Totally wrong. Well, at least I know that by heart now. Okay, how do I do this? Is there like a clue somewhere? That'll probably be useful later. I don't know. Um, come on. Think. There has to be some clue here the tree tree looks like an ordinary tree it has an apple on it but that's it I don't know Let's just guess one more time. This one. No. Okay, um I guess I'll figure it out next time because this is a long episode. Damn. Um and well, as always, if you like my video, please leave a like, and if you really, really like my videos, please consider subscribing, if you haven't already, of course. And I'll talk to you again next time. Goodbye.